On today's Maker Mashup, we're adding NeoPixels to the bed of the X301 printer. So on today's Maker Mashup, we're gonna be doing one of the follow-up videos to the main core series of the X301 printer. And the first one of these in the series is going to be working on putting the NeoPixels onto the bed of the X301. Now, if you've seen some of the preview videos of the X301, you'll know that I often showcase the lighted bed because I think it's a really neat feature of the X301 printer. So for today, our process is going to be pretty simple. We're gonna wire up the circuit board and that's gonna get us all ready to go so that way we can split the NeoPixels into the left and right of the bed. And then what we're gonna do is once we solder all that up, we'll attach it to the 3D printer bed. It actually works by attaching to the behind uh, the crossbar that is in place for the 3D print bed. So you can't actually see the circuit board from the front of the printer. And then once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put that cable along with the heat bed wires and we'll run that into the inside of our X301 enclosure. And then all we have to do is plug that into the main board. If you're using an SKR14 or 1.4, uh, turbo, then both of those already support a NeoPixel port. Because there's only a very limited number of NeoPixels, you shouldn't need any external power, so it should be pretty plug and play once we get everything soldered and attached to the printer. So with everything said, let's get to work. To help with today's assembly, we're going to be using this print-in-place circuit board holder. It was created by a YouTuber named Sunshine, and I follow his channel, and he creates some really cool prints that are very functional. This one kind of looks like a psychedelic owl, but it holds circuit boards really well for any of your electronic projects, giving you an extra helping hand, and it's a little bit better than alligator clips. We're gonna start by going ahead and taking these screw terminals, and we're gonna push them together, and then after that, we're gonna solder them onto the circuit board. So as we solder these up, we're gonna need a row of four on the left and right of the circuit board. And that's gonna go with the left and right of the print bed, where we'll split the signal from the NeoPixels over to the other side of the bed. Now we're gonna attach a JST connector. And this is the male version of the JST. And we're gonna solder this to the back of the plate. And this is what's going to connect the SKR to this circuit board. Now that we have the JST connector in place, we're gonna wire up the capacitor, which is a thousand microfarad capacitor. And we're also gonna wire up our 330 ohm resistor. Now, if you've seen the other NeoPixel video that I've done for adding them to your 3D printer, this is very similar. The only difference here is that what we're gonna do is split the signal at the very end and we're gonna split that for the left and right side of the print bed. So if you follow that same schematic, but then wire these to the left and right side of the screw terminals, then you're gonna be all set and we'll be ready to go ahead and hook this up to the printer. Now I will include also a link to a schematic in the description, so that way it makes wiring this a little bit easier. Now to wire everything together, I use these short little breadboard wires and they're just solid wires that you could buy that are used for wiring breadboards and they make great little short lengths of wire to go ahead and solder up these connections. Now I'm just taking everything from the other side of the capacitors and from the other side of the resistor and just wiring to the screw terminals so that way we get a connection that's split out at the end. Once you have everything soldered together, you're gonna to wanna to take your meter and just make sure that you've got continuity going to each one of the connections that you made here. Now remember, because we're splitting it out, the left and right side is gonna go ahead and have the same signal to each one of the screw terminals on the left and right. Now that we have the circuit board wrapped up, what we're gonna do is cut a length of the signal wire here and it needs to go about a little bit past halfway from the front to the rear of your bed. 
and then we're going to strip that wire and then we're going to go ahead and solder on these neopixels now note there the direction of that arrow that is the flow of electricity in that direction so you need to make sure that you're soldering the right ends of these otherwise this won't work at all once you get it onto the bed next part's a little tricky you're going to need to feed the wire into the 3d printed part and then after that you're just going to slide it all the way down into the recession and there's a little groove where the neopixels fit now once you have it through you can attach these ferrule connectors make sure that you don't try attaching these connectors before you push it through the 3d printed part they simply won't fit Okay, so you can see here we've got our circuit board. I created a small patch cable and we're just using those JST connectors there. And we have a 3D printed part, which we're going to apply a little bit of hot glue to. And that's just going to help hold that circuit board down a little bit. And then once we've attached some hot glue to it, we're going to go ahead and slide the circuit board into the 3D printed part and it just holds the edge of it here. And then the glue really holds up the rest. And then what we'll do is we'll add some M5 screws and some T-nuts and that will finish up this part and allow us to attach it to the back of the heat bed. Now you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and attach the NeoPixel wires into the screw terminals and then we're just gonna screw them in place. Just be mindful to make sure that you've got your negative signal and positive all in the right connections. It should be pretty straightforward and the signal cable I use and link in the description has the negative mark. So that makes it a little bit easier to go ahead and assemble this. Once you have those connections all in place, then we're just going to go ahead and attach it to the extrusion with the T-nuts and that will hold everything in place. Now we just need to hook up our patch cable and we're just going to plug that into the board and then the other end into the NeoPixel circ board that we created. Last but not least, we're going to go ahead and turn off the lights and then we'll go ahead and power on the printer and the NeoPixel should light up indicating you've got everything successfully installed. So as you can see, this is pretty simple to put together. A little bit of soldering with the circuit board. The hardest part is really getting the NeoPixels fed through with the wiring and then making sure that you crimp the ferrule connectors after you get it through the connector on the bed. Put those connectors on the wires and then just hooking it all up and plugging it into the SKR. So it's a pretty simple process to get this up and running. Now, if you need help with this project, don't forget to reach out to our channel Discord. We're over 500 strong in the Discord now, so there's a lot of people in there of all sorts of types from CNC, to electronics, to 3D printers. There's always someone in there that can usually help you out with a project that you're working on. And it's not just 3D printer focused. So it's great if you're doing just about anything in making. It's really a great online maker space. If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to help support the channel, please consider checking out our Patreon page. Our patrons receive access to exclusive content not available anywhere else. And we also have some Patreon specific Discord channels where they're able to reach out directly for additional help. So with that, I'm gonna say that's gonna be the end of today's video. If you liked it, make sure you mash that like button and don't forget to share and subscribe. So with that, I'm gonna say thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.